Note that H is uh, connect, uh, closed, but not necessarily connected. Well, M is called reductive. See, this Li uh, algebra can be decomposed into a direct sum of H and M, where M is a H invariant complement of this algebra. A Riemannian metric is called G invariant if this action is an isometry. In this case, we say that this space is an Riemannian homogeneous space. If uh, we have a pseudo Riemannian metric, in this case, we say that this space is a pseudo Riemannian homogeneous space. Where? Uh, the geometric, the Riemannian homogeneous space has been studied, but little is, little is known about the pseudo Riemannian homogeneous space. Uh, while any uh, Riemannian homogeneous space are reductive, uh, the pseudo Riemannian homogeneous space in dimension 4 are non reductive. So, uh, for this, uh, the purpose of this work is to analyze the conformally Einstein equation for non-reductive pseudo Riemannian for dimension homogeneous spaces. Well, in this paper, Fess and Renner give a classification in terms of the Lie algebra. So uh, they, ha they have this theorem, uh, if M is non-reductive, the Lie algebra pair is isomorphic to one in the following list. Uh, for example, A4, this algebra is the sixth dimensional Lie algebra where this is the Heisenberg algebra. In some bases, the non zero the products are given by this equation. In the same paper, uh, Fels and Renner uh, give this theorem when uh, we have a Lorentzian uh, main. In this case, A1, A2, and A3 uh, admit uh, neutral signature and Lorentzian metric. This is the general theorem. Let M be a simply connected non reductive pseudo Riemannian homogeneous space of dimension 4. So M is diffeomorphic to R4. If G is the full high symmetric group, then the algebra pair is equivalent to 1 in the before tables. Conversely, for any Lie algebra pair, there exists a pseudo Riemannian metric on R4. Well, the goal in, or in, in this work is to describe the non reductive homogeneous conformal Einstein spaces. Since we are interested in the existence of conformal Einstein metric, we will study the existence of solution of uh, the conformal Einstein equation. So, for that, we discuss an alternative uh, description of the metric and coordinates. Well, let me introduce uh, other important tensor. The, the back tensor is defined by this uh, divergence, uh, where this W is the by tensor, is the contraction of the uh, Ricci tensor. In this, dim in this dimension, uh, the tensor pack is very particular because it's symmetric, trace free, divergence free, and conformal invariant. Uh, we have uh, the following theorem. We classify the non reductive homogeneous four dimension back flat metrics are given by, by these types. These types are uh, Lie algebra pairs. This is a parameter of the tensor metric. Well, we characterize the Einstein spaces, the conformally flat uh, spaces, and in consequence, conformally Einstein. The back flat manifold, we exclude the trivial cases, Einstein manifold, locally conformally flat manifold. Uh, therefore, we obtain the explicit form of the conformal Einstein metric. Well, in this paper, Cosamenu uh, and two uh, give a uh, two condition for any uh, manifold Einstein. This is a um, uh, cotton tensor, this is a veil uh, tensor, contraction, the gradient of sigma. This is a back tensor. Well, we analyze uh, this equation for this condition only for these spaces, because these spaces are flat, uh, back flat. Well, 
let me give a sketch proof of the non-reductive case of, the, of type A2. We consider the metric tensor, where this is a parameter on the metric tensor. Well, the Ricci operator is given by this matrix. So the manifold is Einstein if and only if B is equal to zero with uh, this scalar curvature or alpha is equal to this. Uh, the space is Ricci flat if alpha is equal to, to zero. So the, the back tensor is expressed with respect to the coordinate basis as this matrix. So we have four cases. B is equal to zero. So uh, the, uh, the sectional curvature of the space is a constant. In this case, uh, the space is not locally conformally flat. And uh, in this other case, uh, the space is not locally conformally flat. Finally, in when alpha is equal to 2, uh, the space is locally conformally flat, but no Einstein. So we consider alpha equal to 1 and b not 0. So uh, let a function, a positive function on the manifold, remember we are analyzed this condition. Then we, we obtain the gradient of sigma given by this expression. We analyze the non-zero components of the coating on the Bayer tensor, tensors. So the only non-zero component of this zero three tensor are those given by this equation. So um, the first uh, two equations show that this function does not depend on the coordinates x1 and x2. Uh, so for this component, uh, you can express this function uh, like other function in this form. So we obtain this um, equation more easy. So in the granting, we obtain this uh, equation. So the matrix for any function given by the previous equation is Ricci flat. So the previous equation shows that there exists a uh, Two parameter family of conformal Ricci flat uh, matrix. So uh, we analyze case by case. And we have the following theorem. Let M G be a four dimensional non reductive homogeneous space. Uh, is in the local conformal, uh, in the conformal class of Einstein manifold, if and only if this space is Einstein, is locally conformally flat or is a locally high symmetric to one of these spaces. And the first step, we found that uh, exists uh, one parameter family. In this case, uh, we found uh, a two parameter, three parameter family. This is the before um, uh, algebra, the algebra. On this step, uh, in both cases, we found there are a uh, three parameter family of uh, rich in flat magic. Uh, so, thank you very much. Uh, 
again, I, I would like to have addition physics, for example, but uh, I don't know. Thank you.